I'm Jalen Thompson. I don't know. Um, I'm a music maker, I guess. I'm going to school for music composition, so I spend a lot of my time listening to, writing music, finding music. But on the side, I kind of make my own music, and that's what we're doing today is making a music video for it. So I'm very excited. I've never made a music video before, so. Let's see, I came up with FOCO in the summer of last year, so 2022. Um, I had been through a big, like, long slump writing songs. I hadn't really written anything and released it since, like, my senior year of high school. And I was kind of just in the mood to finally, like, actually write something and release it. So I, I took, like, two weeks and just hammered out a song and was, like, freaking out about it for weeks after that. And I, it still took me a while to release it, but. I was really excited because it was the first song I had written in a long time. Probably the first song I released since I had moved to Colorado. I'm from Missouri. So it was kind of like this song acknowledging like all the stuff that I've done since I left home. And I've lived in Colorado since I left home in 2020. So I'm like a big kid. And it's kind of like my big kid song. Like I'm, I'm out and I'm on my own. So the sample at the end is actually a speech from George Washington Carver. And I had a conversation with my dad once. We went to New Mexico or something, and on the way we stopped at the George Washington Carver Museum, and we looked at like peanut plants and stuff, I don't know. And we listened to some recordings of speeches that he did, and he had a very like frail, like high nasally voice. And we talked about how a lot of the things that he said in his speeches probably would have been more popular if they were spoken by someone like Malcolm X or Dr. Martin Luther King. Like, because of the way that those people talk and their like timbre of their voices, it's just really interesting to think about how much more people will listen to someone if they sound more convincing and more empowering. So I was really, I was like, I'm gonna use this cute little speech about doing what you can with what you have. And it was like my little like, oh, I may not always feel like I have the most interesting things to say or the coolest things, or the, I'm not the best at everything, but like, it doesn't mean that I'm not supposed to be doing it. Like I can still do whatever I want, really. When I was in high school, I was a nerd, just like everyone else. And I was like, this is my made up word. I made this word up and it's what I'm gonna use for something. I don't know what yet. And then, for like three years, it was like the playlist I have on Spotify is named like my biggest playlist with like all the stuff I put in. If everything I really like goes in that playlist, it was the name of my playlist for a while. And then when I started making music, I spent like plenty of time trying to talk myself in and out of names. And I was like, oh, I could just use this. And it just kind of stuck. I haven't hated it enough to get rid of it. And I'm happy with it. It's unique enough too. like I appreciate it. So. It doesn't mean anything in and of itself, but it's kind of like the word I use to just get myself to do things. Don't stop.